I'm upset. No, I'm not upset. I'm not angry. The feeling that just keeps coming up is annoyance. I think I'm annoyed because I am tired. Yes, I'm annoyed because I'm tired of addressing this. But maybe because we are growing and some people I knew here, we have to reintroduce ourselves. We have to re-educate. Number one, the standards, especially beauty standards that you guys have for content creators is wild. Nah. As soon as someone comes on this platform without the right hair, the nails, the makeup, the setup. As soon as that happens and you see those things unavailable, you start making judgments. You start classing them. Those same standards don't apply to male content creators. But with us, the girls, you want to see the weaves, the nails, the in, the in. And if you don't see that, hmm, it, hmm. I care. Yes. La. Number two. On this channel, this one, we make it okay to be yourself. We make it okay to come as chilled as you are. Whether it's in your dook, in your braids, in your dreads, in your scale, in your shortcut, in your brush cut, whatever. It is okay. You know why? Because that is real life. Ne? Some of us don't prioritize beauty as much as other people do. And it's Hence, you'll never find a tutorial here. Anker? Eh. And you know where to go for that. Anker? Yes. You know why? We are here in different spaces and spheres of YouTube. And one thing I like about YouTube is that there's a hundred thousand million channels. If you come on Sims' channel and you see that Sims doesn't have makeup and the hair that you want on, you go to the beauty space. And it, you don't come here, ridicule me, judge me because I don't look how you want me to look. And it, no, no, away. I'm addressing this because I saw like two, three comments. And I'm just going to nip them in the bud. So say early, fast and quick. I'm not going to apologize. For having my nails broken. It's painful actually. Ne? The car door on Friday smashed me. Like, bang, ba, yini, bang I lost my nails, which almost came off with my own nails. And the pain, I cannot explain. So excruciating. My hand is still painful. It's still painful. And for me to be apologetic about that, <laughs> you have better chances of me going to Mars. I'm not sorry. Who sends her? You're on camera with such disgusting nails, bitch. You like it? I'm on camera. I'm in pain. But we move, we push. You'll never. One thing about me, you, you, a lot of things you can take from me, not my self-confidence, no, no. Worked too hard to build that. And then people will say, Oh, Sims, you don't know much about this topic. You didn't, you don't, oh, they class us, guys. They class us because we speak like this. It's called an accent. You want English? I know it. George. I speak George very well, very well. Just because it doesn't come in the accent that you want it to come in, you already think my intelligence is not there. It's even embarrassing that you, 
you judge someone because of how they speak their English. Aibo, the shame is on you, not on me. I'm a UJ graduate, my baby. I went to school, passed my matric with flying colors, pregnant at that. I just don't wear my education as a badge of honor. You know why? Because on this space I love e YouTube, talent, talent, personality overshadows everything. You are here for my education and not for my degree. You, you want us to paste our education there like this plant? No, it's not going to happen. I can articulate a lot of things. Just because a certain word doesn't come to my brain as quickly as I wanted to at that time, and I just make up a word, I make up a word, just like now, you see? I make up a word. And then you guys are like, oh, okay, so. Aibo! Ghetto is your left toenail. Ne? And you don't call people ghetto. So derogatory. You people, stop it. Okay. Gia Papa. That's my personality. I'm out there and guess what? There's a hundred million people like me. It's just that these platforms don't let people be themselves because clearly, clearly, fakeism is the ism that speaks. Who said being a lady needs you to have a weave that reaches your bum? Who said being your lady is defined by how long your nails are or by the type of English that you take out through your nose? Who said that's being a lady? Who said because I'm a, you eat I'm a croissant for breakfast and I eat ilof brown yes I go makes us different. That's classing. Classism. So does that mean the price of bread lets you treat other people differently? It's not okay. Do you see why a lot of people are afraid to come on this platform and be themselves? It's because of some people that project on other people. If that's how you feel about yourself, that's not how I feel. I'm very comfortable in my natural state. You will find me in center in my natural state. You will find me at that restaurant in my natural state. Just because you can't leave your house without ishia, your lashes need to be 15 meters long for you to feel a bit better about yourself. Don't project it on me, sweetie. I'm not the one, the two or three. Definitely not the fourth because you'll find me in, in a photocopy by that time. Ne? Maybe you were unfamiliar, but now you're familiar. Try that again. <laughs> I don't even want to continue speaking. But yeah, that's all I had to say. If you've got something vile to say, keep it to yourself. Cleanse your heart. Put cheek on your soul.